My name is Tiffany Rodriguez, and I'm an 11th grade music major student at Franklin Learning Center High School in Philadelphia, PA. I'm a completely different person than I was last year. The me from one year ago would be in shock if she saw who I am today. I feel more confident, more at peace with myself, and more optimistic than I've ever been. It's like any problems, anxieties, or worries that weighed down on me so heavily are gone. I'm honestly really grateful I took the time being isolated to improve myself and get out of an old mindset now that I'm getting older and maturing. One of those hard to swallow pills I had to take was that everything comes to an eventual end. It's unfortunate, but it's all the more reason to appreciate the memories and good times. Live in the moment and really be grateful for what you've had and what you have. Things may have come to an abrupt stop, but the feelings you get from looking back last forever. COVID has definitely changed what path I want to go down later in life. My plans were even to go to college, but living in unprecedented times like these showed me that I have to stop planning for the future based off of the comfort I have now in the present. Of course, when you have no motivation to go to online school, you throw your plans for college out the window. But after thinking about it, that's not the mindset I want to be in if I ever hope to live out my dreams. So whatever time I have during this pandemic, I'm going to do everything I can now to help me perfect my craft so that I can go to college for photography, I can move to California, I can become a fashion photographer, and I'll travel the world. One major thing that affected me the most was this virus, considering that I actually caught it. It had to be the worst experience and worst illness I ever had. The headaches, constant shaking, immobility, not being able to keep my eyes open, stomach any food, or breathe after trying to sit up in my bed. But not only did it take a toll on my physical health, but it also was a major hit on my mental health. Being in isolation for so long felt like a living hell, and the fact that I was laid off of my only source of income, had no friends or family to talk to, and watched the mental health of my own mother go down the drain while I laid in my bed helpless, not being able to do anything, was more infuriating to me than anything because I'm usually stronger than this. I didn't even tell any friends that I had at the time what was actually going on as to not worry them, but honestly, I think it was just me being afraid of coming to terms with what was happening to me. At one point, I really thought that maybe I wasn't going to make it out of this one. And getting into that mindset was hands down the scariest thing I ever had to do. But as I started to slowly get better and recover, it was a huge sigh of relief. I took the opportunity of feeling relieved to take a breath and appreciate my life and who I am, who I was and who I want to be. This virus has taken hundreds of thousands of lives, including my own family members, and I thought that it would take mine too. But to me, beating this virus was an eye-opener. In a way, it taught me to love and appreciate myself in the moment. Not who I'm gonna be, not who I was, but me, right now, in the present time. And that's gonna affect me forever. When the pandemic is over, I can't wait to be able to see my friends again and to not stall or be afraid because you may never know when you get that opportunity again. You may never know when another pandemic can arise and you may never know how long it'll be till you get that opportunity again.